Today we will be learning about volume and surface area of rectangular prisms, cylinders, and cones. So let's begin with some vocabulary. Volume measures the capacity of an object. This means we could calculate how much space is inside the object or how much the object holds. And we will use a formula from our formula sheet to calculate volume. So let's try some examples. In example A, Carla is filling this box with packing peanuts so she can send it to her friend. How much can the box hold? On our formula sheet, the volume formula for a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So looking at our figure, our length of our rectangular prism is the 17.5 inches, our width is the 8.75 inches, and our height is 13.25 inches. Now we substitute it into our volume formula, so V is equal to the length of 17.5, our width of 8.75 and our height of 13.25. And now we multiply all three, so we get volume is equal to 2,028.91. And for volume, it's the unit cubed, so inches cubed. In example B, Tim is wrapping this box with brown paper so he can send it to his mother. How much space will be covered? Since we're figuring out how much the space needs to be covered and not how much does it hold, this is an example of a surface area problem. So looking at our formula sheet, the surface area formula for a rectangular prism is 2 times length times width plus 2 times length times height plus 2 times width times height. So on our figure, this is the height, this is the length, and this is the width. And now we substitute it into our formula. So surface area is equal to 2 times 17.5 times 8.75 plus 2 times 17.5 times 13.25 plus 2 times 8.75 times 13.25. And now I have to follow orders of operations, so I need to multiply before I add. So 2 times 17.5 times 8.75 gives me 306.25, plus 2 times 17.5 times 13.25 gives me 463.75, and lastly 2 times 8.75 times 13.25 gives me 231.88. Now I could add, so when I add those three I get 1001.88, and for surface area it's the unit, so inches squared. This is our first practice problem, and it says that Susan is filling this pool with water. How much water can the pool hold? So pause the video now, try it on your own. If you need help, please ask. And when you're ready to check your answer, hit play. How did you do? Hopefully you got the correct answer. If not, it's okay. Check over your work with mine. And if you still need help, please ask before continuing with the rest of the notes. In example C, Will wants to make this aluminum can. How much aluminum does he need? So this is another example of a surface area problem. So looking at our formula sheet, the surface area formula for a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And we'll need to know what our radius and the height is. So the radius is half of the diameter. And since our diameter is 3 inches, half of that is 1.5 inches. So that is our radius. And our height is 4.25 inches. Now we substitute it into the formula. So surface area is equal to 2 times pi, so 3.14 times the radius 1.5 squared plus 2 times 3.14 times 1.5 times 4.25. And again, I need to follow orders of operations, so I need to square it before I multiply. So 1.5 squared is 2.25, so 2.25 times 
2 times 3.14 will give me 14.13 plus the 2 times 3.14 times 1.5 times 4.25 will give me 40.04 and now I can add so surface area is equal to 54.17 and our unit is inches squared. In example D, Will now wants to put the soup in this can. So how much soup does the can hold? And this is a volume example. So the volume formula for a cylinder is pi r squared times height. And earlier we said that the radius is 1.5 inches and our height is 4.25 inches. And we substitute it into the formula. So pi is 3.14 times the radius, which is 1.5 squared, times the height of 4.25 inches. And we need to follow orders of operations, so we need to square the 1.5 first, so we'll get 2.25. And now we multiply, and we get volume is equal to 30.03 inches cubed. This is our second practice problem and it says that Trish wants to cover the cylinder with construction paper. How much paper will she need to cover the cylinder? So if you need help, please ask. So pause the video and when you're ready to check your answers, hit play. How did you do? Hopefully you got the correct answer. If not, it's okay. Check over your work with mine and if you need help, please ask before moving on to our final two examples. In example E, Emily is making this container out of plastic. How much plastic is needed to construct this container? So this is an example of a surface area of a cone and our formula sheet says that the surface area formula is pi r squared plus pi r l and this l means slant height. So our slant height is 13 centimeters and our radius is half the diameter. Since our diameter is 10, half of that is 5. So our radius is 5 and now we substitute it into our formula. So we get 3.14 times 5 squared plus 3.14 times 5 times 13 and we have to square before we multiply so 3.14 times 25 is equal to 78.5 plus 3.14 times 5 times 13 is equal to 204.1 now we add and we'll get 282.6 centimeters squared our final example says that Erin is making snow cones and she needs to fill this paper cone with ice. How much ice can the cone hold? So the volume formula for a cone is one third times pi r squared times height and our radius is 8 centimeters and our height is 15. So we substitute it into our formula. So one third times 3.14 times 8 squared times 15 and we need to square before we multiply so 8 squared is equal to 64 and now we multiply so we get volume is equal to 1004.8 centimeters cubed so that's the end of today's notes. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask and we will be more than happy to help you. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.